Well, well, well. What, what am I supposed to say now? What's up, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold. And today, I have returned. It's been a while. It's been, uh, I think about a few weeks, right? You know, feels like I haven't streamed since... last year? Well, here we are again. And, uh, you know... Time kinda just... got away from me. I don't know how that happens, but for some reason, my chat crashed. But, uh, for some reason, I did. And, um... I'm gonna be honest. I went to bed early last night, and I tried to lay down and go to sleep. Can anybody guess the amount of hours that I got of sleep last night? I'll give you a hint. No matter what number you multiply that number by, it's always the same. Yeah. Been up since yesterday. Tried to go to sleep. Well, I was in bed for six fucking hours. Six goddamn motherfucking hours. I got no sleep. I was sitting there pissed off because I was trying to go to bed. You ever get mad at yourself for not being able to go to sleep? Yeah, I do. Every day. But luckily now, here I am, and uh, I didn't oversleep. I was sitting there fucking paranoid, worried that I was going to oversleep on the, the, the big day, you know? But uh, here we are, and it uh, looks like I didn't fuck up. So guys, there's a lot that we have to talk about, a lot that I have to say, a million things that we need to go over. And, uh, you know, while I've been gone, I guess there's been, I think, a, an event that's happened that's been, uh, hasn't changed my life at all. But for other people that have, uh, you know, uh, employment, you know, those people have problems. And so, uh, you know, it's been quite an adventurous couple of months here. Um, I, I, you know, go to the store, everything's fucking sold out, except for the Easter candy. So actually, it's kind of worked out in my favor. But here we are. So guys, I, uh, I talk about a number of things. And I think the first things that I do want to talk about, the main things that I want to talk about, are, I guess, different issues that I've kind of, uh, you know, I've seen going on and uh, just kind of opinions. Let me refresh my chat. It took me like five minutes to even figure out how the hell to start this thing up again, man. It's been fucking insane. So anyway, show the piss bottles. No, I, you you want to see something? You, you want to show the piss bottles? There's no piss bottles. You know what there is? A clean goddamn motherfucking room. Take a look. See that? Look at that. I've got a blanket on there. Gotta stay comfy. Uh, so I've got a, this is my room, and I've cleaned the whole thing up. Now, I know you guys might not think this is cleaned up, and that's because uh, for a normal person, it's not. But for me, uh, this is the cleanest that it's been in, um, let me think, a really long time. Uh, probably a, a rat nest. Funny thing about that. So, th this actually was a red nest. Um, I, I put some fucking poison because in the garage there's a bunch of goddamn motherfucking rats. And uh, I've got to deal with them. So, actually, this is funny. This is the first story I'm going to tell. I've got a lot of stories to tell. I'm glad that I remember this one. It's one of my, uh, my favorite ones. So, uh, I went to wash some clothes. You know, every year I do that. And so uh, I, I go, I open up the washing machine, and it smells like shit. And I look inside the washing machine, and there's a dead rat in the washing machine. And, like, I don't know how this happened. And the, fun <laughs> the funny thing about it is the rat was clean. It was a clean rat. It was the cleanest rat I'd ever seen in my whole life. He was totally, you know, like his fur was just all fluffed up. I mean, I could have made him a coat. You know, I get peed on my ass again about that. So I guess I won't do that. But, uh, you know, uh, I guess actually, you know what? PETA would agree with me because I ended up killing him just like they do with animals. But anyway, I, I, I don't want to get banned quite yet. But we'll talk about that later. Um, anyway, so uh, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, I found a dead rat. So I, I took the rat and I, I threw him away. And... Um, 
I put the clothes in there, I washed the clothes. And there's obviously some uh, dead rat bits in there. And I figured that, you know, since it's a washing machine, it would just work itself out. Turns out it uh, didn't. And uh, I have a bunch of clothes now that smell like a dead rat, which is kind of annoying. But, uh, you know, that's life. And um, that's why, uh, luckily, we're in 2020 and not 2040, where you actually have a, you know, full VR immersion. You guys can smell me. I think that's never my stream's really going to die. But uh, anyway, so uh, we've had a good time uh, past uh, three or four weeks or so that I've been gone. And uh, let's see, what else has happened? Um, uh, Christmas happened. So uh, Christmas, what happened on Christmas? My dad got me a machete. He got me a machete. So I want to go ahead and I want to show you guys um, what, uh, what I did with the machete. So I'm gonna open up uh, just a second. Let me uh, let me just open this up real quick. Uh, paint. That's convenient, man. I forgot I. I forgot I. <laughs> forgot I had that up there. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at new. Okay. So uh, let, let's assume this is the uh, this is my backyard. Okay. So this is my backyard. And so um, I could test the machete on cutting anything in the entire yard. And there is a bamboo stick right here. And I cut this bamboo stick. And what I didn't know is that there was an internet cable right there. Of all of the places in the entire yard that I could have cut right there got it right there and so my dad immediately my dad see my dad he first thing he said he's like man those sons of bitches they should have buried the cable they should have buried the cable deeper that's not your fault son don't worry about that call him up and complain get a free month and i'm like yeah you know what hey <laughs> you're right man fuck them those guys are idiots and so then I just kept, uh, you know, doing what, what the hell is going on? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so anyway, uh, that's pretty much uh, what happened on Christmas. I would get the machete out, but uh, apparently there's some rule about having weapons on stream. Oh, yeah, somebody shot a gun. That was cool. So somebody shot a gun on, uh, what do you call it, on stream. Which, I mean, it was the first time for everything. That's kind of stupid. I mean, I, I don't know. I can't really, I don't think I can make a joke about that, right? Because it's like, you know like a dangerous situation or something but uh you know you're kind of stupid if you do that like let me just say that not on purpose well of course it's not on purpose like what do you mean not on purpose does that matter he's still shooting the gun like why like wh wh when do you get into the situation that it would not even be on purpose it it's like i don't know man it's the same old dumb shit uh you can shoot guns you're gonna do nylotha i've done nylotha a few times so i've been playing some wow i've been doing a lot of shit like that it's been a it's been a good time he was drunk as fuck yeah that's why you don't uh combine guns and beer and if you do try not to do it on camera and so uh anyway um ask your dad for a hairpiece next christmas uh yeah actually it might really be on that uh on that road yeah uh you're not wrong uh, good to see you back. It's good to be back. I, uh, it's still kind of weird. I'll be honest. There's a lot of things that I've been, you know, thinking about. And I'll have, like, these conversations with myself in my car. And I'll be sitting there and I'll be, like, talking out, like, a conversation that I would be having with my stream, you know? It's, like, really fucking weird. But, you know, what, you know, whatever. And, um, anyway, so I, I have these conversations with myself on the stream, on the, uh, on the car. And that was whenever I started to realize it was actually probably time for me to come back to stream, you know? Whenever I start talking to myself, that's whenever I know that I'm crazy enough to actually, for some reason, like doing this. So, anyway, uh, I've been having a pretty good time. I know there's a lot of people that have been going crazy in uh, quarantine, but uh, apparently it seems like my lifestyle is quarantine. You know, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I didn't know that at all. And uh, it's been great, honestly. You've been invited to... I didn't even see that. Music's loud. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Okay, let me turn it down just a slight little bit, okay? Ah, uh, there you go. All right, I think that should be better. Are you back for good this time? Fuck no. I'm going to bail in, like, I don't know, a few months, like, maybe a year. You never know, man. That's the thing. That's the thing about Asmongold Breaks. 
come out of nowhere, man. Uh, I, I mean, but, you know, for a while, I'm going to try to be back. I'm not going to, like, I, it, it's it's weird coming back. I'm going to be real. It's, it's weird. And I, I'm not, I'm not going to ask for fucking subs or any shit for, like, a month, man. Because, like, I... It, it, it's I have like I was so apprehensive about it. I'm like, I don't know if I want to go back. You know, what's going on? How am I doing? You know, no, no, I'm not going to do it. You guys can clip me. Cl no, clip it. Clip that shit, dude. Clip it. I'm, I'm being 100% real. Okay, water, uh, quarterly stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't hear the music. Listen, the music's still fine. Okay. Um, I, uh, I've always had the music at the same volume, but you know what? I'm going to just turn it down a little bit because it's not really a big deal. Being humble so we can get more subs. It's a 200 IQ. I like that. So I've been making YouTube videos as well. And uh, I continue to, uh, I will continue to be making YouTube videos. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to do more of. And um, recently I made a YouTube video. It was an almost 20 minute compilation of me running people over in cars in Call of Duty. Uh, the, the, basically, um, I really had fun making that video. Like that was probably the most fun video I've had. Uh, I, I've, you know, most fun I've had making a video in a long, long fucking time. Also, for any of you dumb, dumb fuck dipshits that are in chat right now, oh, I can't read chat because I'm still banned. Just message a fucking mod and they'll unban you, okay? We're doing a full mass unban because of the new changes that, uh, you know, Twitch decided to do. To be first of all, all the changes Twitch decided to do. Um, I'm gonna f fucking unban everybody, okay? Yes, we're giving amnesty to all of them, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, the way that I look at it is that this is great. Because then I get to ban them again if they if they piss me off. So it's, uh, it's a win-win situation where I win twice because I got to ban them the first time. And now I get to do it again. So anyway, uh, Toxic Chat Company. Well, I want to talk a little bit about the chat too. Now, my uh, rule before uh before i took a break was no spurts i'm going to modify that rule slightly i'm going to allow people to be a little bit more rambunctious in the chat as usual than usual now that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that i want some one man spammer saying asmongold ball spot wall w like 40 times like you're still gonna get sent to spurgatory for that one but for the most part, if you want to just, you know, do some funny shit or whatever, uh... All right. Anyway, so, uh, you know, we're going to be a little bit more uh, conservative with bands, like with perma bands from now on on the stream. Reason for that is that now if you get perma banned, you lose chat. Now, in my opinion, I don't watch any streamer uh, for their chat. I think it's, it's dumb, right? But there's a lot of other people out there that are like, wow, I love the chat. The chat's better than the fucking streamer. Like there's people that watch streams, like they go into some guy's stream and they don't even, it's like, you know what it's like? It's like whenever you were in high school and you, you'd go to math class and it was your favorite fucking class. And man, bro, you don't even fucking know that bitch's name up there, man. That's trying to talk to you about all those numbers and shit, man. But your boys are in the class and you sit there and you talk with them and you have fun. And the way that I look at it is like, uh, like the chat is like the dumb fucks in the back of the classroom throwing paper balls at each other, having a good time. And the streamer is like the teacher that's fucking pissed off because they're being paid $35,000 a year to be babysitters for these psychopathic 16-year-olds that are, you know, you never know whenever one of them's going to fly off the rails. And so, uh, you know, I think that's a uh, 35k a month. Yeah, yeah, 35 oh, a month. Sorry, I'm in a year. Yeah, I, I forgot we live in America. Uh, thank God for that. And uh, accurate, honestly, well, no, I, I don't blame them. Like, uh, with a lot of teachers and shit, right? Like, I, I go and I, like, there's got to be something, like, they have to actually enjoy it. Like, I would actually enjoy teaching high school because I feel like I could fuck with the kids and not like that, you know, but, like, just mess with them a little bit. 
And I, I do things to just like break down their egos, you know, just a little bit. And I just to make them kind of mad. Like I'd make them like read out the wrong answers they had to each other a day after the test and then write their test scores on the board and then, uh, you know, like draw a, a happy face or a sad, draw an emoji of how you felt when you got your test back and just do this every day, right? And it would be, it'd just be funny, right? Because like some of my teachers would do that to me. Uh, I remember whenever we got our standardized test back, I had a teacher and he had us all write our test scores on the wall. And this one kid got a 53, man. The moment he put that five up there, everybody just started laughing their goddamn ass off. I saw him a few uh, few years ago. He's working at a gas station, so uh, you know I've had a uh, I've had a good time. I have. I actually uh, I, this is really kind of funny. I, I want to talk about uh, a couple more things, and I'm gonna. I, I know we're gonna get to the. Uh, uh, we'll get to the, oh yeah, yeah, uh, we'll get to the content pretty soon, okay guys, and by content, I mean, how do I open YouTube? Uh, but no, no, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get to some content in a bit, I just want to sit and talk for a little bit and, uh, you know, get to uh, a little bit of what's pretty much been going on with me. And, uh, anyway, um, yeah, reacting, well, of course, right, Mount God, I have to talk about that too. But, uh, so a couple of days ago, I went to Torchy's Tacos. Now, if you guys live in Austin and you haven't been to Torchy's Tacos, time to go back to California because we don't want you here anymore. But if you have, uh, you'd know how good it is. So I go to Torchy's Tacos and I see somebody there that I thought was a friend of mine in high school. Now, this is a, you know, a person I, and like after graduation, he like dropped off the face of the fucking earth. Like, I never heard from him. I tried to contact him. He was a very good friend of mine. And he's just gone out of nowhere. And, like, we spent years together, you know, hanging out, and, you know, like, just doing things together, uh, throwing rocks at people on the way home from the school bus, um, fucking off in multiple classes over multiple years together. We really had a bonding experience. And they were taking our names. And... I, uh, I, I, cause they took my name and they were like, okay, it's Zach, right? And I'm like, okay, uh, you know, and so I saw this dude and I was like, no fucking way, dude. No fucking way. And so the guy, he orders and they ask him his fucking name. And he says the same first name that, uh, that I knew him. And he, this is like, this is somebody who I just completely lost all contact with. And I, I almost never c talk to people in public. But I said, hey, man, are you, you know, whatever? And did you go to, you know, wherever I went to high school? Because I like to keep things a little bit, you know, private. He's like, yeah. And then I'm like, yo, it's me. It's, it's your boy, Asmongold. And... That was fucking him, man. I fucking found him. After 10 years, man. After fucking 10 years. He makes fursuits professionally now. I'm not kidding. Remember the story that I told you all about the guy who drew the dragon masturbating on a chalkboard? Well, well, well. How uh, the tables have turned. So, um, this is, uh, this is now a furry friendly stream. Uh, I'll be leveling a Vulpira very soon. Uh, I, uh, it, it, this is going to sound like some pussy shit, right? But I actually got emotional about thinking about it on the way home from, like, the getting the tacos. I was, like, emotional thinking. Because the, the reason I was emotional about it, it sounds weird. Uh, but what really are you besides your memories? The memory of him dragging them, drawing the dragon masturbating on a chalkboard. 
I mentioned it to him, and he immediately fucking remembered it. And there's not a single goddamn person in the whole motherfucking world that's ever gonna remember that, except for the two of us. And... That was... It's good to know that it wasn't just a dream. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't want to talk about it too much more, or I'll probably, uh, you know, get get a little bit upset. And, um, you know, except I'm just people in your story. Yeah, but people were like, oh, yeah, fake story, idiot. Oh, you're lying again. Oh, look, Asmongold with another fake story. Oh, yeah, I've heard this fake story before. Yeah, no, it, it's good for, for somebody to finish my sentence instead of fucking cut me off. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I was very happy about it. I, I really, uh, I, I wrote a list of things I wanted to talk about, so I don't forget about it. But, oh, right, I wrote scam trains. <laughs> I wrote, uh, uh, like, a little list of things I wanted to fucking, oh, Joe, uh, digital diaper. All right, great. Uh, thanks to the 50 fucking subs, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Remind me to suck your dick after the stream. Thank you very much. So, uh, scam trains happened. That was a long time ago. That's, like, that's old news by now. For me, I haven't streamed since, uh, you know, last year, so it's kind of a big deal. Uh, did you get one? Yeah, I got one. It's a big deal. Um, and uh, I, the only reason I know about it is, like, every single time that Trainwreck gets one, and, like, because I've been staying up all night, right, because I'm a degenerate, and he goes... I can't do it. I can't do it. He just, he's, he says scam train in this really, really dumb fucking way, right? And he does. And, uh, I, it's... No, man, I'm gonna look like an idiot. I mean, I feel really self con like I'd maybe do it if I wasn't on camera, okay? Um, okay, he's like, uh, I guess I always look like an idiot. Scam train! And then everybody is like, pog, you know, these ironic pogs. And then nobody actually subs, but they just pog for something that's like nobody gives a shit about, right? And so this happened. Uh, that was a good time. Um, I do have a lot of announcements. I do have a lot of things that I want to talk about. Now, I'm wondering if I want to talk about the real shit first or the game shit first. What do you guys want to hear about first? Real shit or game shit first? Okay. Um, real shit. Outside of TOS, I'm done censoring anything that I say on my stream. I don't care. If it won't get me banned, I'm going to say it. Whenever I was, you know, like in classic hype and everything, I was a little bit gun shy with saying certain things because I knew people would, uh, you know, get upset, get angry. Not anymore. I don't give a fuck. I, uh, I didn't, I, I don't like having to hold my tongue. I don't know if that's obvious or not. And, um, there's a lot of things also, you know, it's not really about like classic wow or something. It's just like a general thing that's, I felt uh, in a lot of ways. Like, I'm just going to tell people how I feel, what I think, and if they don't like it, well then, fuck them. And that's all it's going to be. If people are going to write articles complaining and crying about me, they can suck my fucking dick. And I'll read them for content on the stream, so please do that. You know, Retail WoW doesn't have much. Anyway, on top of that, what I plan on doing for my stream, I want to focus on... I, I want to focus, I, I think that I had a very big problem whenever I was streaming before. And the problem that I had was that I focused on what I was going to do in game rather than what I was going to say on the stream and nobody gives a fuck about what I was doing in game anyway. So I'm going to change the focus of my stream. We're obviously still going to have, uh, we're, we're going to still have, yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Like it, it's like, no, nobody gives a fuck. And so I want to focus more on, you know, like what I talk about, what I like to do, and that kind of shit, right? What game? Well, let's talk about what game. So, um, 
I am. I'll get on classic in a bit because I want to show you guys my uh, my character because we don't have armory, and I'll give you an update of what what I've gotten on classic. Uh, as a lot of you guys know, um, you know we're one of the top ten guilds on Feralina right now in terms of speed clearing the uh, the raid. We clear uh, BWL in under an hour now. Um, there's a lot. Of, so this is some fucking bullshit. I took a break from classic for like three weeks, and you know what? I come back to. A fair fucking loot system. My guild went behind my fucking back. And they set up a fair loot system. So I didn't get... I don't get all the gear now. I'm pissed. Because the chromatic boots dropped yesterday. And you know who got them? I don't give a fuck. Because it wasn't me. I'm pissed. I'm really, really pissed. But, you know. We'll, uh, we'll get them eventually. Alright? Talk about Pilav. I watched uh, a little bit of a Pilav video recently. I uh, I still have like the, a couple of criticisms for Pilav, but I've learned to like him. I I have I, I've learned to see where he's coming from, and the ironic thing about Pilav is that he actually took a break from streaming for the same reason that I did. Is that he was doing the same dumb, boring, motherfucking garbage-ass bullshit and classic over and over and over. He thought his head was gonna explode and his, you know, brain was gonna calcify over. And he's like, he, he's like, I'm done, man. Fuck it. And so, uh, I, I can, I can totally understand that. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I got some respect for him for that, man. I do. Roxy Moo, thanks for the five subs, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On top of that, um... I know that there has been some, uh, uh, some, some eventfulness with my personal life. From now on, okay? From now on? Don't worry about who I'm dating. Don't worry about, you know, all this other weird shit, okay? Like, we're not gonna do any of that. Uh, no more of that. I, uh, my, my personal life's gonna be personal, and that's what it's gonna be, all right? And I don't want to talk about if I'm in a relationship or not. Um, when, when I decide to say that, I will decide to say that, and I'm comfortable in doing that, and I'm not. Pokimane? Well, that's what Pokimane does, I'm pretty sure. I don't think she really talks about her relationships either, and that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, no, no. I mean, like, it's not a no e-girl zone. Like, no, I... Here's the thing, right? Is that this whole, like, renting e-girls on e-girl.gg? This is my idea. It's just I wasn't streaming, so I didn't do it. Like, I was the first person, like, the day that fucking website came out, I went on Trainx Podcast and I gave all them motherfuckers Hassan, Train, all them. The, the, all the idea, dude, that all, that all came from me, man, okay? Like, let's be real. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, the absolute mastermind, of course. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I want to make sure that I keep a lot of that stuff private. Um, you know, I, I don't really want to get too into that until, um, you know, me and whoever else is, uh, you know, we're going to talk and, you know, work it out. Also, uh, I want to say another thing. If anybody says anything negative about, uh, let's say about Izzy, I'm going to fucking permaban you. Okay. Like none of that shit. None of that fucking shit. Okay. You didn't like her. It's too bad. Too fucking bad. No more of that. Is that a hickey? No, it's not. That's a, uh, so the way that I shave, um, the, the way that I shave is actually like this. I'll take the razor and let me see if I can get something that looks like a razor. Um, so I go like this. Well, like that. I never take it off the skin. And I, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, I, I can't even feel it. I know that might sound insane, but I can't, it doesn't bother me or hurt the skin at all. And, uh, occasionally I do cut myself, but who gives a fuck? Uh, you know, it builds character. And so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's disgusting. I'll, I'll give you guys a shaving tutorial on YouTube, because if I did it on Twitch, it, uh, I'd get banned. It's, uh, it's a bit of a bloodbath, but, you know, it's okay. It, uh, makes things a little bit more exciting. Terrible way to do it? No, it's not. It works great. It takes me, like, 30 seconds. Like, I base everything that I do off of how long it takes me to do it. And if it's a shorter period of time that it takes me to do it, that's what I'd rather do. 
And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Meaty Steve with the 10 subs. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Meaty Steve. Great way to remove acne as well. I did. Like, you guys, look at my face. See how see how clear my skin is? Literal, like, no, no blemishes, nothing on my skin. I used to have fucking, like, acne-ridden ridden skin, and it was awful. And I took a razor, and I shaved the acne off my face. And uh, I did that for, like, a couple of years. And uh, look at this. Now I look great. So, well, I mean, not really. But, you know, it is what it is. Well, I'm excited for Shadowlands. Um, am I excited for Shadowlands? Funny, funny you should ask that. The Mice Guy, thank you very much for 20 gifted community subs. I appreciate that. Whenever Shadowlands comes out. Whenever Shadowlands comes out. We are not going to sit around on this stream and just let it happen. We're not going to just sit around and let the game that we love be further perverted and contorted and contrived into a disgusting shadow of its former self. We are going to bitch. We are going to cry. And we are going to complain. Until they do what we want. Because if we don't. I'm going to have to play Jump King. And I heard that's going to really make me mad. So I want to do my best. To make sure that we don't let that happen. Guys. I'm going to do everything that I can. To make sure that Shadowlands is a good expansion. Because. I have set a goal for myself, and wow. I'm going for number one in the entire world for mounts. I'm going to do my best. That's my new goal. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking or anything. I'm in a unique position to do this. I have almost all of the removed from the game mounts over the years. There are very few people that can even compete with me now. And I haven't even been trying. That's what I plan on doing. I, I will be going for number one in the world for mounts. And I'm going to be farming them on stream all the fucking time. That's what's going to happen. 